Today, we'll show you a few things that every great midfielder does and give you a few tips to help you dominate the pitch. You're watching All Attack. Wait for the right pass. Oftentimes, when players see their teammate making a run, they'll force the pass or try to play it too quickly. When in reality, the best choice may be to wait for a second and only pass once your teammate is in the optimal position to receive the ball. For example, in this situation, if you pass the ball now, the defender has a chance to get back. But if you pause for a second and wait until your teammate is almost level with the defender, then there's no way the defender will get to the ball before them. Switch the point of attack. One of the most important jobs of a midfielder is to know when it's time to switch the ball from one side of the field to the other. See, when there are seven or eight players from the other team all crowded on one side of the field, that means there must be a lot of space on the other side of the field because each team only has 11 players. So if you're starting to feel crowded and you don't have many options, then it may be time to switch the point of attack. Scan the field. When you play central midfield, you have teammates and opponents constantly moving around you in all directions. So that's why if you don't want to lose the ball, it's important that you turn your head and scan the field constantly. Creating a mental map of every player on the field. It takes a lot of practice, but if you master this skill, you'll always know where everyone is and you'll almost never lose the ball. Pass the ball to the correct foot. A good passer doesn't just pass the ball in the general direction of their teammate. A good passer chooses a specific foot to pass the ball to. For example, in this situation, passing the ball to the attacker's left foot will give him little option but to pass the ball right back. But. If you pass the ball to his right foot, then he'll be able to turn and beat the defender. Disguise your pass. If you're going to pass to someone who's near a defender, usually you shouldn't make it super obvious you're going to pass to them. When you telegraph where you're going to pass way ahead of time, obviously it makes it easier for defenders to intercept. So that's why, even if you know you want to pass to someone ahead of time, you shouldn't look right at them until just before you pass. You can look up the field, look at the defender, look for another teammate, just make sure not to let everyone in the park know where you're going to pass. All right, everybody, we hope you liked that video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Make sure to subscribe and make sure to check out our other videos if you want to learn more about football.